two important points on this. The length of time on this investigation is unknown, and as Dave was talking about the cost up in Flint, that's still a big question about this investigation. The Attorney General says it will not be a blank check, but he also must get uh, funding from the state legislature, and that's a process he's just starting right now here in Lansing. State investigative team will be nine full-time investigators, retired feds, state police, even two retired Detroit police investigators. They're going to be looking at who knew what and when on the state and local levels in the Flint water crisis. The switch to the Flint River as a water source happened back in April of 2014 to save money, and it did cause lead to leach from old pipes into drinking water. Get this, one possible criminal charge could be involuntary manslaughter because of a possible Legionnaire's disease connection with nine deaths. If you have a duty, you breach that duty, and because of the gross negligence of that breach, someone died, and you can show the proximate cause of that death breached to the breach, then you can have involuntary manslaughter. It's not far-fetched. It happens. This is the biggest case in the history of the state of Michigan, right? Um, and that's what draws us to this, is to get these people their, their answers. It's time that these people are victims. I gave a lot of people my word. Uh, I, asked, I told him, if you don't believe in the system, you don't believe in state government, that's fine. Believe in me. Give me a chance. I got a personal stake in this. I don't think any, I don't think any legislator will want to be viewed uh, as obstruct, uh, obstructing or blocking a full and complete investigation. Now, not everybody here believes that this investigation is needed because there is one underway with the feds and also a state task force that was appointed by Governor Rick Snyder. We're going to have more on that for you next hour at 5. I'm live in Lansing, Jim Kurtzner, the Now Detroit.